Hello honorable members of the clan, so we are not at the Nogauteng High Court today because as you already know that it is postponed until Thursday to give the defense some time to prepare for their cross-examination of uh, Brigadier Geninda after lying through his teeth and uh, it was quite interesting as well to see the little debate that was taking place between the defense and the judge but of course the judge understands because it's only fair for him to grant them the time that they need in order for them to prepare you also saw if you were watching yesterday if you were not because you're waiting for me I apologize uh just to explain a little bit okay before I explain uh, ja, what his name? Uh, Mr. Mgomezulu was not in court because he is still not feeling well. However, he did make arrangements and these arrangements were discussed in Judge Rata's chambers regarding Mr. Mgomezulu still pretty much not well even after he had asked or his doctor had ordered him to stay an extra week at home so he can recuperate. So that did not happen and he's still ill. And so there were some arrangements that were made and just Judge Rata just wanted uh, for those to be put on record how they are going to go about with the cross-examination. As you know, it needs to be in that order of the accused from accused number one, accused number two, accused number three, accused number four and accused number five. But because Mr. Mgomezulu is still ill, the arrangements were that Mr. Ramusipili will be the first one to cross-examine Brigadier Geninda, followed by Mr. Mnisi, followed by Mr. Ngumalo, followed by Mr. Mshololo. Subsequently, when Mr. Mgomezuli is feeling well, he'll be the last one to cross-examine Brigadier Geninda. As you already know that this sort of things, I mean, we did see with the trial within a trial, it's not going to take a week or two or three or four. The cross-examination may as well go into 2025, which I do suspect is going to go beyond that time because uh, uh, Mr. Gininda also did say that as of next week, he's going back to writing his examinations. So he's only available until this Friday and then Monday, Tuesday, he has examination. So obviously we are not going to be in court uh, Monday and Tuesday. We will be back on Wednesday and the rest of the week. And whenever we are at his mercy because of his examination, then the cross examina examination shall continue. As you know that I think the first week or the second week of December, the current uh, term comes to an end. I don't know what they call it, a semester, a term, I don't know what they call it. Comes to an end up until next year, February, uh, that is 2025 February, when a new term begins. Is it a new term or it comes, I don't know. Uh, and then Gineda will be back on the stand, cross-examinations will continue, and I think will be with the same um, uh, defense lawyer, Mr. Ramos Sipili, because he seems to be really, really ready. He's ready to defend uh, Ndanzi, which is a good thing and it's something that we are all looking forward to. Um, after that, I think, I don't know um, what we're supposed to be doing in the meantime. Guys, like I said, I am going to come with uh, different content that I hope you guys are going to support. Not only just focus on the Senzo Mewa murder trial because at some point this trial will come to an end and therefore what should happen. So I think we should just get ourselves accustomed to other topics that I'm going to be bringing to your attention. And I am promising you most of the content I'm going to be bringing to your attention will be to build you and to also expose your other relatives of opportunities that, that they can embark on so that they don't sit at home doing nothing. More and more and more people are becoming their own bosses because now we live in a different era. We're living in a digital era and people are making money online, like having a YouTube channel, for example, or better yet, or you can even have, uh, not better yet, not better yet, not better yet because YouTube is currently the only social media platform that pays very well its uh, its creators. Instagram, you get paid mostly by, uh, what do you call these people again? Sponsors, like brands. Brands approach you if you have a big number of followers there and they are organic. 
Then they will approach you and then you make your hundreds of thousands of rands. Yes, your famous or your popular Instagrammers, they are making hundreds of thousands of rands uh, as creators in those platforms. Those are the things that I want to bring to your attention that don't just look at your uh, Facebook and think it's just a communication tool with the, with the people that uh, you communicate with. But it's also an opportunity for you to make money. So that is very important for you to understand. And I want to show you how. I want to teach you how. Trust me when I tell you it's not difficult. It's the most simplest way of making money sitting and sometimes even sleeping. You'll be making money. I think that's all that all of us. That is what we want, right? All of us having a TikTok page these days is not just having a TikTok page. You get approached by brands there too and collaborate with you. And then you negotiate tens of thousands of rands for just a 30 second video. Think about that. So I want to bring all of these opportunities to your attention during the, uh, the month of December while the court is on recess. Please, guys, I am begging you. It is for your own good. I'm not supposed even to beg you. I'm supposed to just let you know about it. What you do about this information is totally up to you. Other than that, guys, let me not talk too much because uh, I do have uh, the clip of what transpired yesterday before the court adjourned. It's very, very short. And uh, let's see each other in my next videos because I do have some thoughts as to what transpired in court yesterday. Now, let's go back to why I'm not posting recently. So there was a cable theft in my area. Interestingly, the building that I live in, the half of the building, it is off. And the other half, there is electricity. So I'm not a person that likes to ask. So to uh, post a couple of videos or to even post a video at all, I have to go to the other side of the building where there's electricity and ask somebody that I know who has Wi-Fi to upload. Can you imagine every time when I have to upload a video, I'm like knocking. So I don't want to uh, be a burden or a nuisance to anybody. So I'm just going to wait it out until they are done restoring the, the lights. And they did say that it should be restored at least by midnight tonight or even earlier than that. So let's see how it all transpires. In case you're wondering, hey, Clantus, what's happening? Yeah, that is exactly what is happening. And uh, yeah, I hope you understand. Let's see each other next time with a new video because like I said, I've got a lot of thoughts about what took place yesterday before the evidence in chief was concluded by Mr. Baloy. Later, guys. Yes, Mr. Ramsey, any cross-examination? As the court pieces, my lord, my lord, as we discussed in chambers earlier this morning, I had indicated that because of the indisposition of Mr. Mgomezu, I won't be ready to cross-examine today. And further, my lord, I have requested uh, certain uh, statements from my colleague, uh, I will give them the statements again, my lord. I had done it previously with an email that are vital for my cross-examination of the current witness. Further, my lord, over the weekend, I've been going through the voluminous uh, transcripts to remind myself of the other evidence and cross-examination, both by myself and my learned colleagues, as well as the evidence-in-chief of all the witnesses, beginning with, with Ms. Zandi de Kumar. As a result, my lord, I've already also said I wouldn't want this case to be delayed for too long. Uh, therefore, in the light of that, my lord, I'm looking at starting my cross examination on Thursday, the 7th of November 2024. And my lord, with my colleagues, we are busy making contingency plans to recoup the lost days uh, after the recess period, which I think begins on the 6th of October. Yeah, I think it's fair to grant the defense an opportunity to recapitulate over the whole evidence in order for them to be in a position to cross-examine gain food. Okay. So for those reasons, then, on the 7th, we start with Mr. Ramsepi on the cross-examination. Yeah, okay, Brigadier, are you available? We said until then? 
Well, that was available until the end of the week. So Thursday, I am available, and then as well as Friday. But Monday, Tuesday, I'm not available, man. So that process then starts all the way up to 25. But Thursday and Friday, for the purpose of the request, I will be here, man. Okay. All right, fine. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, Thursday.